The colonization of the moon is the proposed establishment of permanent human communities or robot industries on the moon. Recent indication that water might be present in noteworthy quantities at the lunar poles has renewed interest in the moon. Polar colonies could also avoid the problem of long lunar nights about 354 hours, a little more than two weeks, and take advantage of the sun continuously, at least during the local summer. Permanent human habitation on a planetary body other than the Earth is one of science fiction's most prevalent themes, as technology has advanced and concerns about the future of humanity on Earth have increased, the argument that space colonization is an achievable and worthwhile goal has gained momentum, because of its proximity to Earth, the Moon has been seen as the most obvious natural expansion after Earth. The notion of sighting a colony on the moon originated before the space age. In 1638 Bishop John Wilkins wrote a discourse concerning a new world and another planet, in which he predicted a human colony on the moon. Konstantin Tsiolkovsky, among others, also suggested such a step. From the 1950s onwards, a number of concepts and designs have been suggested by scientists, engineers and others. In 1954, Science fiction author Arthur C. Clarke proposed a lunar base of inflatable modules covered in lunar dust for insulation. A spaceship, assembled in low Earth orbit, would launch to the Moon, and astronauts would set up the igloo, like modules, and an inflatable radio mast. Subsequent steps would include the establishment of a larger, permanent dome an algae-based air purifier, a nuclear reactor for the provision of power and electromagnetic cannons to launch cargo and fuel to interplanetary vessels in space. Thank you for watching. For more educational videos, please subscribe to WizScience on YouTube or visit wizscience.com.